In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called discriminant of a quadratic equation. And to start, we'll recall the quadratic formula that says where we have ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, the quadratic formula says that solutions will be of the form x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And here, since we are looking only at the discriminant, the discriminant is the part underneath the radical. So our discriminant is just b squared minus 4ac. And when we calculate the discriminant, if this turns out to be a positive number, then we'll be able to take the square root of a positive number. And so when d is greater than zero, we will end up with two solutions. If the discriminant turns out to be zero, then we're adding and subtracting the square root of zero. Adding and subtracting zero isn't gonna change anything, so we would only then end up with one solution. And here, both of these solutions are real because we're taking the square root of either a positive number or zero. However, if the discriminant is less than zero, if it's negative, then we would be taking the square root here of a negative number, and that would give us complex numbers. So here we would have two complex solutions. Since we're only asked here to identify the number of real solutions, real solutions will be either two, one, or zero in the event that we have a negative discriminant. And for this example, we have an A of negative two, a B of nine, and a C of negative three. Substituting in to find the discriminant, we have d equals b squared, b is nine, so nine squared would give us 81, minus four times a, which is negative two, times c, which is negative three. Using order of operations, we would do multiplication first to simplify. So the discriminant is 81, negative four times negative two is a positive eight, positive eight times a negative three is a negative 24. And then doing the subtraction, we now have D equals 57. And the important thing is that D is positive. We ended up with a positive number. So we will have two real solutions to this quadratic. 